Yes. <clears throat> Consider the following species. We got carbon 14-6, nitrogen 14-7, ca carbon 13-6. Okay, how many neutrons does species B, we're talking about nitro nitrogen, have? How many nitrogen we have? Neutrons, I mean, how many neutrons we have? Um, we got 14. So 14, you subtract it by the bottom one. That's, um, that's the atomic, um, atomic uh, mass, and we got atomic number in the bottom one. Okay, so 14 minus 7, it gives you 7. Sorry, it go, it's going to be the same number right here, but this is not the ni neutron, that's not number of neutrons, that's number of, uh, that's atomic number, which is protons, number of protons. So, and uh, protons and electrons, as you know, they're equal. So, number of neutrons equal to number of no electrons, and atomic mass minus num uh, number of neutrons, uh, minus the number of protons equal the neutrons. Or you can say, oh, atomic mass minus the electrons equal the number of what? You trust as well. So what is the answer? Answer is seven. Um, next question is gonna be. Um, I don't know if I should I write it, but I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it slow. How? Oh, okay. How? Okay. Which of these are isotopes? Okay. Which of these are isotopes? What should you do is go to the periodic table. You look at carbon because well, I. I see two, ca two carbon right here. So the regular ca uh, carbon, it's six. So six. We got six. And uh, atomic mass, um, these don't change. Always the number of protons don't change. The number of neutrons change, but only. Nothing else. So 14. So we got less neutrons. So we got 13. So carbon. So A and C are isotopes. And uh, if, I, if I look at nitrogen, nitrogen we got 14 atomic mass and 7 um, atomic number. So you know, it's, it's not an isotope. So next question. <coughs> next question it, it says, what is the atomic number of species C? What's the atomic atomic? number of C. Let, uh, let us see. Not C. So we got two C's. We were talking about let us see. What's the atomic number? Atomic number, we look at the bottom number, which is six. But if I look at the periodic table right here, you look at the number on top, the letter. So it's always the opposite. So the lowest number is the atomic number, and the highest number is the atomic mass. Just remember this. It's simple. The lowest one is always the number. Because the uh, yeah, just like um, uh, common sense. If you add p plus um, uh, plus plus b equal mass, you, it's not going to be this. It's it's it's, it's obviously it's not. We we can't have neutrons. Uh, we can have 14 protons, and we have all together protons plus neutrons 7. There's something going on with the... Uh, it, ha it have to be isotope. <laughs> That's only um, uh, uh, reason why we should have low number of atomic mass than the atomic number. So, it's always atomic number. It, it's the lowest number, so and the highest number, it's always the mass. <coughs> Okay, the last one it say uh, what is the mass number of species uh, A? What's the atomic? What's the mass number? Mass number. So the highest number of A. So what's the? That's a number. It's a mass number. It's fourteen. It's not six. Why is it always? It's atomic number. Okay. That's all. <sighs> um, uh, we got consider the following list. We got okay. We're done for today. Thank you.